Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Terrific, here coming at you with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And my boy, Weeb Rabbit, is right here sitting on my lap. Where you at, buddy? Exactly, I am. Yes. Maybe Beautiful. if I'm good, he'll let me touch the controller. <laughs> I mean, I'll let you touch <laughs> something else if you're being good. Oh, all right. So last time uh we showed Groose who's boss and now we had a big dream about this sexy little blue nymph no, 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 and you, we're follow her. you showed Groose who's boss and then we lost zelda oh yeah that's that's true. the whole point you lost zelda <laughs> oh, but yes man. then this blue chick showed up and yes. oh yeah let's follow her yeah obviously she's trying to like lead us to something so oh, yeah. i'm interested i mean i don't know why where she's taking us my bedroom is the other way if you know what i mean well, maybe she wants to like go somewhere more interesting, you know. I mean, that's true. She could be an exhibition. I mean, you have a t you have a tiny bed. Maybe she wants to go somewhere <laughs> a little more, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, I see what you mean. Something a little bit more intimate. Yeah. Right, come on. <laughs> oh man, what I hate is that I like how I can change the camera as I'm moving, but it makes it awkward when running though. Mm hmm. Because it's hard to like press B while. Oop, see. Why right. you have fell all the way down? That would be so funny. Just fall off the edge. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to run. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah, I have the sword out. It looks so <laughs> awkward. He's just running around with the sword sticking out. <laughs> all right, as we get instruction of this thing, because we saw in the day it's a normal cat, but at night. Yeah. <laughs> they totally animated that cat's butthole, too. Oh, jeez. I know. Uh, it comes a total hell beast. Ah! Yeah, Attack die, it. boy. And then throw it over, throw it over, throw it over. All right. Grab and throw it over. Uh, huh. There we go. There you go. It comes back up, but for now, just run away. Okay. Don't I'll deal do with that. it. All right. It just keeps keep spawning infinitely, but yeah, you can just get rid of it like that, which is funny. Yeah, let's go, Link. All right, come on, buddy. You're taking a while. All right, come on. Come on. Oh, man. I really wish... I don't know why when they made this uh, Definitive Edition or, you know, HD version, I guess, why they mm -hmm. didn't just make it to where I can move the camera without pressing like Z or whatever, or you know the left Z trigger because it's kind of I mean uh, sorry, I the, don't left, know. the left bumper I should say. Weird Nintendo stuff. I don't know. All right, huh, huh, huh. go 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 go. Just falls down on the slide at the end. There ah, we go. There we go. Links murdering everything. Ah oh, yeah. Ah oh, dang it. I always hated this as a kid, specifically because, again, the whole camera thing. Like, who thought that was a good idea? I don't know. I mean, I guess technically... Uh, technically... <clears throat> sorry, since it's doing motion controls, I can't use the analog to move the, con the camera, so I guess. But someone should have thought of something, though, because this is just awkward. <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels like... Almost feels like a GameCube game with how like bad the camera is. Yeah. I feel like that's like a GameCube game problem, honestly. Alright, here we go. Alright, so we're following her. We still don't know where she's leading us. Ooh. We're gonna check out her there place. Oh. Man, and actually I uh remember reading <gasps> she sprints the wall. Oh no. <laughs> I remember reading, and it said that I guess B is like just as annoying as Navi, and I don't remember that. So let's see if it'll jog my memory. What she? Oh really? You don't remember? Yeah, That's no, funny. I don't remember. <laughs> nice. Probably because I played a uh, Skyward Sword like halfway through and stopped. No, maybe like even a, maybe a third through. No, maybe two. I don't know. Either way. Uh, but I played. Wait, like, I know. I know when, when I first so played times. it the first time, I didn't really find her that annoying. Mm -hmm. But I know just seeing how other people react to her. Yeah, it's because she tells you a lot of like, "Oh, your batteries," and uh, yeah. you've been playing for a long time, and she like over explains stuff. Mm -hmm. And I never really minded it, honestly. Yeah. I've never really minded like um, Navi either, but. For some people, it's just too much, I guess. No, I hate it, Navi. And when you mentioned the battery thing, I so remember that. Because I had, like, little boo-boo, <laughs> <laughs> like, double-A batteries, too, for it. So they were always dying. Okay. Nice. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. Wow, spoilers. 
It's stupid. That's like the setup of the game. It's not a spoiler. The hell? According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Oh, wait, I should talk like a robot. B is the name I was given. Oh, God. I was created for a single purpose long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Cherific. You must take up this sword as the one chosen by my creator. It is your destiny. That reminds me, have you ever watched Clone High? Uh, it was like an old like animated series no, back in the day. No, I have not. The... All right. Oh, I'll tell you why right now. I just look into this. All right. <laughs> the strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance uncertainty surrounds the fate of one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, <laughs> it is only logical. Like, what? No. Even she's like, what? <laughs> oh, to minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My social is. My projections indicate that this information has a higher probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <gasps> Nani? And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out in search of her. But like, no, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use this crappy practice sword. <laughs> Oh man, he like ran to it. Yeah, man. Yeah. He's, he's, if it's for Zelda, he'll do anything. Ooh. But what would he do? But what would he do for a Conduct Bar? Uh, probably just about just as much. <laughs> it seems that further persuasive measures would not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it. Sky. Uh... <gasps> oh, they said the thing. I'm excited. I'll see it. Oh, you're excited. Oh, man. All right. Let's grip this thick sword real quick. All right, ready, hey, it's that thick. I've seen <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah. Slid out real smooth. He's <laughs> 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 twitching a little bit. <laughs> that was great. I heard you're facing the wrong way, too. I know. <laughs> you can, like, be hiding and then grabbing it. Like, the hell? <laughs> You got, you the, got the goddess, goddess sword. sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. You know what? They fixed the direction you're facing. I just noticed. <laughs> you they did it wrong. They fixed the direction you're facing. That's funny. Recognition complete. Mas Ooh, okay. I like this. Terrific. My master. Oh, kinky. Yeah. Too bad you can't call her a mistress. That would have been, <laughs> been pretty hot. Yeah, it would. Gaypora. <laughs> <Game. Yeah. laughs> I, like, I, I still don't get how I still don't get how this ugly creature spawned Zelda. Yeah, no, there's no way. I had my suspicions, but until now, I wasn't sure. Yet, here we are in the chamber of the sword. <laughs> Your mom? The very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. But you only have like five kids per generation, so who learns this? I know, right? <laughs> when the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Well, that's that's foreboding. Do not fear, for right. it is then when a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place more sacred. Uh, well, let's go get Groose then. He's he's the actual <laughs> hero. Right, he's the hero. <laughs> it started days ago. The sword that I've kept secret all these years. It began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was unsure I was seeing things. I was sure I was seeing things. Here alone, with the sword. What were you doing with it? There was simply no other explanation. Just polishing it. <laughs> I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. So you're the jinx from the sounds of it. Jeez. <laughs> the words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade. One who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge and martial. Me? 
I like how they have to mention that Felix Young. Like, <laughs> why? Does it matter? Like, yeah. like, it just seems like such a weird thing that, like, oh, by the way, she'll look young. <laughs> ah, yes. Like, the, okay. <laughs> the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information, retention, <laughs> and transmission. <laughs> I mean, it's true. <laughs> it it's is. Just so, like, she's just calling it out, Jamie's a bitch. <laughs> it appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. Yeah, I mean, they just cut the meat out. It's fine. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land, such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Man, they did like the Sparks note version. <laughs> Surreals. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master. You must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is only, it is the only method available for you to reunite with the maiden spirit, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy, ta easy task, Terrific. The word below is a forsaken place. And to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. <gasps> what is this? The rock. <laughs> this tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Tablet? I can't... I can't watch Netflix on this. Take it and place it within the altar behind you. If it was on from Breath of the Wild, you could. <laughs> True. Like, that was an actual tablet. It's so weird. You got the Emerald Tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with the Skyward Strike. The blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful Skyward Strike. Man, that's that's what the name of this game should have been. Legend of Zelda Skyward, Skyward Strike. Oh gosh. Uh, speaking of tablet, right now, um, well, yesterday and today, uh, as of this recording, yep. um, it was Amazon Prime Day. Yes. And a lot of stuff was on sale. Like the tablets, they were like half off, maybe even more. Not bad. You get like an eight inch tablet, uh, to only a couple years old mm -hmm. for like 45 bucks. It's pretty good. Yeah. All right, stick it in, young boy. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice and tight. Perfect fit. There's only, it's, it's not tight. There's only one piece <laughs> in there. <laughs> it can literally just fall out any moment. All right, there we go. So every time you put one of those in, it pierces the clouds that way. You can head below. Weeb Rabbit, is that how babies are made? Yes. Okay, that's what exactly. I thought. Master Terrific, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the world from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master. And so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go, even to the pooper. I reside exactly. within your soul Especially. and will accompany you in your travels. Press the down button. What is that? To summon me whenever you require my assistance. Imagine she's like, press the, he's like, what is, what is she talking about? <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. Terrific. Listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old texts is a complete mystery to me. Then why are you here? But <laughs> no, whatever, no help. But whatever but whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this fee says is true, Zelda is alive, alive with no doubt, coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. 
Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Terrific, especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. Now I'm going to keep her. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is the only it is only the start of the journey. Please see it through and prove the legend's true. It's so much. Okay. No way. No way. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm with not it. doing no it. <laughs> I understand how you feel, but this is destiny itself calling for you. You must not run from it so I don't have a choice. Then why'd you ask? Nope. Because it's destiny. Yo, could you imagine if you just say no way and then Link just goes back to bed? It's like game over. No, I, it's like there's not many games do that. I wish my games would do that. Yeah. Like, I know there's a Paper Mario game where the, you can like literally tell someone no way or something, like you're not going to help them. Yeah. And it would literally say game <laughs> over. It was great. I always remember that. I don't remember what game it is, but it would do that. It was like, hilarious. You have a great journey before you, Terrific. And those clothes, they don't look up to the task. What's wrong with my clothes, dog? The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy, a sturdy uniform like that will provide much more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. I like how his daughter is in danger. He's like, nah, these clothes are bad. You need a fresh look. Well, he wants Link to have the drip. <laughs> drip is important. Yeah, right? that is true. He wants Link to be as successful as possible, so he's giving him the drip. Yeah, okay, <laughs> let's let's stop. Stop studying you drip. Oh, why didn't he give him like the, the scarf? The scarf's pretty cool. Yeah. Like the only one where they have a scarf is like that spinoff one, the uh Hyrule Warriors or whatever. Uh -huh. The scarf's a pretty cool look, honestly. Hmm. Anyway. I've had my doubts about the color. <laughs> but oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine more fitting color for you. This is though you were born to wear. Ha, I see what he did. I'm the only knight in a green uniform. No, nah, that was another one earlier. No. Oh yeah, sure. I think I didn't even point it out. I'm like, huh? Yeah. I thought this was supposed to be a unique color, but someone actually also <laughs> actually had it. Really weird. Take care on your journey and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly. Oh yeah, I have to buy a shield. That's so stupid. No. No, I thought I had to buy a wooden shield in order to like. No, use... you can oh. just buy the potions. That's it. Okay. Leave. I'll return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient text. You said it was an oral story, though. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. I mean, you can always like, come with me. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All the way here. All right. So let's get the heck up out of here. All right. So yeah, there's a few things you can do. But the first thing I would do is I would run to the bazaar where it is recommended that you talk to the potion oh. lady who will give you an empty bottle, and then you can buy a red heart potion to keep with you. Yeah. So that's the recommendation here. That green uniform looks so No, 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 you know, you, know he doesn't, you know he doesn't talk like that. He talks like, that green uniform. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's how he talks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. That, that green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. <laughs> The headmaster said you're headed out to look for Zelda. I, I sniff her seat when she gets up. You're really oh, something God. else. I can never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. You got the sticky adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful <laughs> items in this handy piece of gear. What's the stain oh, yeah, on it? Very sticky. <laughs> It's an adventure pouch for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you need on your big journey. One of my things fits pretty asked, well. He's like, he, he's like, that's one less thing. You know how you can stick four things in it? Yeah. He's like, that's one less than the amount I can take. <laughs> you can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You could buy some potions and a shield. They'll fit in the pouch, and they might come in handy on the adventure. Terrific. I just know you'll find Zelda for us. Please bring her back. All right. So, if that wasn't cringy Smack enough, him. all right. <laughs> Smack all right. Let's just... Ah, dang it. Nah, you can't. Ah. No, don't talk to him again. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Leave. All right. Where's the door? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oops. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that was beautiful. <sighs> All right. So we're going to buy some potions, and we will probably end off this episode. Oh, that's right. I got to save.
Because saving is Apex important. Should save. It is. Select to save. All Ooh. right. So I don't endorse the use of shields, but I know you'll need it because it, it, you're terrific. And, you know, you're 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 like, you know, a very novice gamer. Uh, yeah. So remember the guy with the long ears that was like, oh, he's right there. He just passed him, actually. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about it. He'll give you the shield. <laughs> Alright. So like, he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I heard the rumors, terrific. Zelda's fallen down to the clouds, and you're going to look for her. Is that right? The headmaster told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. What a nice guy. He provided you the protection. Yeah. Nice. This light wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. Yeah, so this is where they introduced durability for the first time. It was not in Skyward. It was not in um, Breath of the Wild. It was here in Skyward Sword. Interesting yeah. Enough. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. Also, keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to what does wood. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. To equip the shield, hold R. Select the shield you want to use, and then go off of R. If you're not sure how to use a shield, Knight Commander Aegis at the Sparring Hall will happily teach you. Alrighty, nah, people. You, sh you should be good. So, as you can see, um, we have a I was going to say, though, um, yeah, that's why I never liked using a shield in my game. Because they're, they're just, they just break so easy. I was like, it's not even worth it. Yeah. I was be more careful. So I was right around being a G and just like not even using a shield. Wow. Wait, how the heck do I even draw this? Oh, uh, there we go. No. What? There you go. Wait, but it's not... How do I... Okay, whatever. We'll deal with that later. Alright, people. If you enjoyed, uh, you know, comment, like, subscribe. If you didn't enjoy, hit the dislike button, even though it's now worthless. And check out WeBrabbit's channel. And I suppose I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Later.